Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content. Do whatever your soul is guiding you to do. If it's guiding you to just watch, go ahead and do that. You are appreciated for that. Regardless if you are a Soul Tribe member or a karmic, everyone is welcome aboard. Okay? I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Stay in the brightest of white light. Really quickly, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent being directed to our collectives. Mote. Let's go ahead and get into this read. Let's see what in the name of source is going on here. Thank you all for your support. The channel is growing little by little. And I am absolutely grateful for all of you that come back to watch, sharing the content, subscribing, liking, interacting with the platform. I'm going to be turning on the comment section in a little bit, maybe in a few videos. I was trying to take time to kind of get a few of all the people that I know are their supporters, but come on there and leave weird, weird comments. So I was trying to take time to get myself acclimated to those types of things. Um, absolutely. Because, honey, it's a war out here for just being us. Okay, so someone is making a decision to move forward in life. Someone wants to bring balance into a situation, so they may be bringing you some type of offer. Someone is putting an end to, please excuse me, I forgot to put one of my cars upright when I was readjusting them after my previous read to make sure they were all upright. Okay. Someone may be wanting to bring some type of balance into a situation. This is karma moving forward. All right, the universe has stepped in. There's a, uh, 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 ooh. There's a king of pentacles here that's experiencing some type of ending. This could have been someone that did something in the past, juggled some type of relationship or connection with you. Uh, this is someone that did not take the connection seriously in the beginning, may have taken some type of drastic action towards you, and it has come back to hunt him in the behind. Someone may have lost a lot of finances. This is showing up as someone that's extremely greedy unstable things of that nature they've lost quite a lot of finances okay someone is living on prayer is what i just heard lord have mercy what is going on here what is going on here someone was expecting a different outcome they didn't expect you to stand your ground someone was working with a queen of wands as well against you someone absolutely did not expect things to turn out the way they did Someone made a false promise to this king of pentacles that's now in the reverse. It was that they, they sold him some type of dream that they knew they could not fulfill, they could not manifest for him. It's almost like though someone told him, hey, do this and you'll get this position or you'll get this amount of money. Let's say like you have some type of inheritance that's due to you. And you have someone that does not want to give you your inheritance so they interfere. Like someone put you on a will. You're not necessarily part of the family. But someone is passing away and they change their will and put you in there. But the members of that family or their community don't want you to receive the money that belongs to you. So someone comes and gives him an offer and say, hey, we need you to collaborate with us. And you will get this amount when the court case is over. Everything is settled. You will get this amount of money. And stupidly this person agreed um and they started doing all kinds of things behind the scenes to interfere with you receiving your money or your inheritance whatever this is and now this person has realized that things are not going in their favor and he has lost a lot of money this could have very well been the king of pentacles that was paying people behind the scenes to block your inheritance block your abundance whatever it is this could be a job promotion this could be an inheritance this could, this could be some type of love situation but someone is very greedy and they interfere with you receiving some type of offer this was supposed to be something that was supposed to bring balance this is like your good karma coming back to you because you've done a lot of work and someone was jealous someone is greedy so they interfere with you receiving that opportunity and they had a lot of other greedy people that decided to work with them someone juggled you and they are regretting it because they've lost quite a lot okay and you're still receiving your abundance after everything they've done there could have been another feminine in here that partnered up with this masculine thinking that she was going to receive it absolutely not you are still receiving your abundance 
right because it is given to you by the most high this is something that is part of your birthright okay but these people they didn't take this thing seriously they thought it was all jokes and games in the beginning but things have turned sour is what i'm hearing now someone wants to move forward they may want to move forward with you for some of you but now they cannot because they know that you know what they did okay there's they are absolutely experiencing some type of financial like they may now want to come towards you to partner up with you so that you two can have this abundance together for those of you where this is not an, an inheritance this is you being someone that's abundant you have a lot of uh, um you're naturally abundant you attract wealth right and someone knows that and they know you have something coming in you're elevating you have some type of ten of pentacles that's making its way to you and they may want to now attach themselves to you so that they can have a hand in it so they can restore their finances restore themselves but this is someone greedy this is someone unhinged the king of pentacles are people that are practical they you know move make moves strategically and things like that but this is someone that is very superficial everything is about money you can buy this person this is someone that will do any and everything for money regardless of what they have in their bank account they never have enough money this is this type of person so they will betray you honey i said betray and this is here they will betray you for opportunities any type of opportunities that has money attached to it you best believe they are they are absolutely going to betray you this is not someone loyal this is someone you tell your secrets to and they go and tell it to the next ears if it pays them okay yeah there's a court case going on for some of you this is what i'm getting in regards to this ten of pentacles some of you are not aware that you had something something that was left to you and people have been fighting hard to take it from you and the court may be stepping in the courts may be stepping in to make sure that things go in your favor make sure that what's yours is given to you so that is that and some of you you're being vindicated by other people or by the court system you are being vindicated your character is being vindicated okay you are standing your ground against a toxic group of people a couple something it's like the truth is being seen about these people this is you and this is them but they are fighting tooth and nail to prove that this ten of pentacles belongs to them but it does not and there is someone in there defending you standing up to do the right thing but this toxic group whatever this is they are not letting go they want what's yours they feel entitled to it i'm telling you they feel entitled to it it's like they're refusing what's theirs but they want what's yours stubborn greedy yeah absolutely someone is throwing a fit about two people coming together and being abundant there's a masculine that may want to give you some type of offer and someone does not want him doing that so someone may be throwing a fit behind the scenes a group of people could be throwing a fit behind the scenes excuse me there's water on my table because i just washed my locks so it's dripping everywhere please excuse me and my personal problems <laughs> but this commitment is meant to be by spirit right this masculine may not have known that this is him bringing balance into a situation just bear with me and my water <laughs> problems right now please <laughs> i don't know why i decided to do a rewrite after i washed my hair yeah yeah they are absolutely determined to keep you from receiving this ten of pentacles someone may be offering an emperor some type of financial payout to trap you to betray you there's something that they are doing behind the scenes these people are absolutely who determined to block two people from coming together to block you from receiving an abundance they are paying people behind the scenes to trap you get you caught up in some type of legal situation get you in get you in jail get you locked up get you set up something there is some type of plan these people have going on to trap someone unjustly they want to uh, uh set you up okay and we're going to see if this emperor is going to accept this offer hopefully not hopefully this is someone in the upright 
I've already been getting a feeling about an emperor that is not in the upright. This person will do anything for money. It's been like a marathon of karmic groups stealing inheritances. A lot of that has been going on. A lot of that has been going on. It's like it's been the theme of 2024. Of 2024. So this emperor could be choosing to stay loyal to you. You may not even be very much acquainted with this person, but they're standing up for the truth and, you know, doing the right thing. They have clarity in the situation. Someone was paying this man to act like he doesn't see what's going on. He doesn't know the truth about you, your character, who you are, what belongs to you. They want him to side with them, okay? They want this man to side with them. They don't care if, if it's true or not, if he believes them or not, if he trusts them or not. They want him to side with them. These people are desperate. I'm telling you, these people are desperate, but you are showing up in your pure energy, which means that this masculine, this emperor knows exactly who you are. Um, they cannot fool him. This is all for money. This emperor could very well be someone that has his own finances. For some of you, this is someone that's coming in to reveal the truth about you. I mean, to you about this situation. Uh, he's trapped, but he wants to clear things up with you. Like he wants to have a second chance with you, move things in the right direction. Okay? Yeah. This person has a very positive opinion of you they think very highly of you they see you as someone that speaks the truth someone they can have a connection with someone who is a blessing to be around and they see you as someone who is very graceful okay very strong very brave right yeah and he's aware that these people have been doing things to steal from you block you these people have been working above and beyond to steal from you, to block you. They are exposed. For some of you, this emperor could even be exposing what these people did. Like he's telling the truth about you and he's telling what all they were doing behind the scenes. He doesn't care anymore what they think, what they don't think. He's just letting it loose. Like, you did this, you did that, you did this, and you did that. I don't care anymore. You know I know what you did. We are going to spill the beans. So someone may be spilling the beans. Okay? Someone may have been a bit of a pushover in the past, but they are learning to stand their ground as well. Lord have mercy. It's always so... As much as these karmics get annoying, you got to admit, they are extremely entertaining. Very entertaining. It's like they're so committed on taking us down. But it's like everything they do, the way they operate, the way their minds function is very entertaining. It's that, like, oh, that's what, honey, that's the best you could do. And you best believe there's someone in here in competition with you. Someone wants to be you. Someone thinks they're a better version than you or they can be a better version of you than you are. Make it make sense. That's a headache. Honey, you're standing your ground. These people have been working hard to push you around, block you, stop you, do whatever it is they think they're doing, but there you are. Just waiting for a mother effort to bust up move them. Boop! With your sword. Shh. Real quick, swiftly. They aren't expecting it. They don't know. This is them. They're blind. Their faces are covered. They don't know what to expect coming towards you. Okay? They don't know what to expect coming towards you. Am I going to win over her? Is it going to be a fair fight? Someone in here wants to fight with you. It's like, ma'am, some of us, we are trying to elevate in life. We're trying to upgrade. And you're out here trying to get your behind whooped. Come on. Come on. That's the best you can do? Like, you wake up every day like, I want to go get my behind whooped by a star seed. You know, we come across as very naive, soft-spoken, like pushovers and things like that. 
and people come and they think they can just do whatever they want with us and then they F around and find out, oh, it's not what I think it is. Absolutely. So someone out here wants to fight you. Someone wants to come and get their behind whooped while you are focusing on upgrading, educating yourself, elevating in life. That's their biggest dream is to get their behinds whooped at your hands. Collective, I don't promote violence on my channel, but if I have a bust a move at you, I advise you to give them their spiritual blessings. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Everybody did. Bless them. Bless them, collective. Bless them. I'm telling you, stand your ground. Bless them. Don't fool around with them. If they want to throw hands, you bless them. Spiritually and physically. Eh? <laughs> Anyways, you could be... You and... Uh, uh, um, look, I've lost my train of thought being a fool. Acting a whole mess. You and a king of wands may have some type of connection that he may have neglected in the past. This person may have lost this connection with you and they are not really happy about that because something has been exposed. This could have been someone that was quite motivated in the past to take you down. Some of you, this is someone that is still motivated to take you down. This is someone that lusts after you. This is someone that has a lot of passion for you, but it could really just be lust. So just be mindful, okay? This is someone that they they come across as a leader, but there's something that's not adding up. And I don't know what it is. Someone has a secret. Someone has a secret. Oh, yeah, they have a secret. Ooh. Ooh, I told you they have a lot of passion. Someone has a lot of secrets. Someone is torn over you. Someone misses you. Someone is crying at night or just cannot sleep at night. They're realizing that they possibly had a soul contract with you. This is someone very passionate about you as well. They have a lot of emotions for you. This is why they're showing up in all of these energies. Someone has a lot of emotions for you. I thought it was just lust, but no. This this person has found out that you and them have a soul contract and they are extremely passionate about you. They may want to take action to come towards you, but they don't know how you are going to respond to them. They don't want to be rejected. That could be the secret. This person is a pushover. This person is not mentally or emotionally strong. You know, on the surface, they may look like a leader, like they have everything together. But on the inside, there is something that's lacking. But this is someone very wise. This is someone that's watching you. They know exactly where you are. If you have a social media platform, this person watches everything you put out. This is like your hidden supporter or something like that. Okay. But this person deals with some type of mindset where they like to please people. But when you meet them, they look like they're very tough, aggressive, but they're not. They're not aggressive. This is a pushover. And they like to make other people happy. They look out for people. They give. They overgive. Like they, they overwork themselves to please other people. And they're not happy on the inside. But when you see them, they look happy on the outside. They look assertive. Confident, well put together, but there's something going on on the inside. This person is not using their voice. Someone here may drink a lot as well. Someone here drinks a lot. And this is to like cope with their reality of losing a connection with you. Someone is going through quite a lot. They're drinking. They're drinking a lot. It's like they have something to say to you, but they're scared to say it. So their fear... They're trying to mask that fear. They're trying to keep that fear down, so they drink a lot. But this is not necessarily a bad person. This is someone that just made a wrong turn in life. They have some type of confession they're going to have to make to you. And they're willing to do whatever it takes to reconnect with you. Someone is burdened. Extremely burdened. Okay? 
someone is extremely burdened but about coming towards you they don't want you to reject them someone does not want you to see them as unfit disloyal someone wants you to know that they sincerely care about you and they're sorry for something that they did i feel like i'm channeling right now but someone is sorry for what they did they're looking over things the choices they made all of that they are sorry they want to tell you but they don't know how to say that how to verbalize that so they may go out of their way to maybe like buy you gifts and things like that just to kind of show you they're sorry but they don't know how to verbalize that because they're so embarrassed so they're hoping that you know buying you gifts or giving you something is going to help make things a little easier with the transition between the two of you that is heavy that's deep that is deep. Then it's like someone wants to go for it and show you that they have passion for you. They really do genuinely care about you. They are really sorry about betraying you or trying to 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 trying to block you, trying to trap you in something, trying to bring problems to you. They have a lot to say. A lot. This is not someone that says what they have to say quite a lot they hold a lot in they hold quite a lot in they may be trying to block they took some type of action to block you for someone a feminine energy you could be masculine maybe residing in your feminine energy if you create content there is an effort for someone to overtake your platform this is someone that's been doing this for a while for some of you, this is just a new plan these people came up with to steal your platform. It's like they don't want you speaking. They don't want you showing up on social media. They don't want you going viral. There is something people are doing behind the scenes to block you from moving forward, to block you from being seen. They don't want this masculine to see you because they know he genuinely cares about you. They thought it was just lust, but it's not. He genuinely cares about you. He has a lot of passion for you. But they've been trying to block you so that he won't see you on social media. So your pitch, whatever content, whether you're on TikTok, YouTube, your content should have been viral a long time ago, but they've been messing with your stuff behind the scenes to block this masculine from seeing you but something tells me he already knows where you are this person already knows where you are so all the efforts they've been putting in has been in vain yeah he sees you this is the nine of pentacles he sees you i'm telling you he sees you he knows where you are so they've been wasting their time other efforts this masculine sees you he has something to say to you for some of you you may have a he may be having difficulties getting in touch with you getting a message to you as you see we have the page of cups out here which has to do with people receiving messages and things like that he may have taken some type of action and given a message to someone to give it to you but they never did there's a whole lot of scenarios going on in here but this masculine absolutely see you. I don't think it's an accident that he's sitting here and you're standing here facing him. This car who has very well came on, came on the other side or up here below him or above him. But this person sees you regardless of all the effort these people have been putting in to block you. He sees you. He knows where you are. And for some of you, he may even know how to get in contact with you, but he's worried. So that's what the procrastination is coming in. He knows where you are. Can you imagine that? Your enemies putting in all of this effort to block someone and you from coming together. But the whole time, the person knows where you are and they already know how they're going to approach you. Can you imagine? Chai! Sources Google. I'm telling you, coming to work. <laughs> coming towards you. This masculine is in a hurry. He knows where you are. He's getting away from these crazy people. It's like I want to go heal. Yeah, they were trying to cause confusion. Someone has been messing with some messages. 
something. Someone has been messing with something, causing a lot of illusions. And this is a group effort. This is not just one person. You can also have someone from your past that wants to come in, send you some type of message to cause you an illusion. Honey, we don't have time. Stay where you are. We don't have any animosity for the past, collective, but let them stay where they are. Come on. Leave us be. We're out here trying to seal the calmer waters, start a new life, embark on our journeys and things like that in the past want to come in and cause procrastination, stagnation, and give us some type of immature love. Sir, leave us alone. Ma'am, leave us alone. We don't care. Okay? And then this person that wants to come in and cause this illusion is trapped in something. Like this person is trapped in something they cannot get out of. Someone made a, someone made a horrible decision in the past when it came to you. Now they had some type of rude awakening, realizing that you were actually genuine. And now they want to come in to cause you an illusion just so that you don't seal onto karma waters with another person. Come on. What is that now? We don't have time for play play. Move on with your life. I'm telling you, but they cannot. They cannot. Someone does not have the opportunity to come in and betray you again. That you barely got away from this person. And I'm thinking this is someone from your past because of the fact that it's a king of cups. The king of cups, queen of cups, page of cups, knight of cups. They all remind me of people that you are familiar with, loved ones, and red loved ones, relatives, friends. You are familiar with these types of people. If this is someone from your past that tried to set you up for something to happen to you, and you barely, barely escaped. If you had not escaped, this person would have had you out of here. You would have been a goner. Okay? But you moved on and sailed to calmer waters. You left all of that behind you. He may have partnered up with another feminine energy that thinks she's better than you, can be a better version than you. This is someone with some type of unrealistic mindset. Someone clueless and dumb as can be. And But they had a way of presenting themselves to be very polite, mature, calm, modest, all of that. They pretended to be educated, but he found out real quick that this is an airhead. This is just someone who is good to look at, but on the inside, there is nothing going on upstairs. I'm telling you, nothing going on upstairs, and he wants to end a cycle with this woman. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. He wants to end a cycle with her. He wants to come in and say, hey, I know I betrayed you and like tried to have you out of here and send you back to source and stuff. But, um, you know, I was wondering if we could start over fresh. Listen, if that's my masculine voice, that is terrible. But anyways, back to the theatrics. I was wondering if we could start over. You know, I've changed. I'm you now. No, he's not. This is him coming in so you can give him a second chance so he can freaking do it again. And for some of you, this is a feminine energy. Someone lost a lot of money due to greed. They betrayed you for money and they're broke. They're broke now. And you, Star C, you escaped something. Some of you don't even know that you escaped something from this masculine. He was trying to have you out of here. Out of here? Out of here. So now he wants to come in, gaslight you, give you some type of false love offer. You two can look like the ideal couple. He has a awakening to your, uh, 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 your sincerity to know who you are. He knows who you are now, but the love offer he's giving you is still not real. This is someone that is stuck in a specific mindset. This is someone that will do anything for money. So money talk. BS walks and the BS is you, your loving heart, your kind heart, your sincerity. He don't care about none of that. He cares about money. So if you ain't talking money, you can't be talking to him. Okay? 
this person wants to come in, present you with some type of, oh, we can be family again. I'm so sorry for what I did in the past. I took you and the kids for granted or I took you for granted. I just want to move on and heal and start all over again. We can't have a brand new life. My friend, no, stay over there, okay? If this person made a choice to leave you out in the cold, leave them out in the cold too. Tell them you forgive them, but they need to move on. Delete them from your contact, okay? Tell them to move on, because this is ridiculous. Say people want to trap you because you're moving forward in life. You speak... You are speaking the truth or taking charge of your life and they have a problem with it. There's absolutely a court case going on. I am telling you all, there's a court case going on. And it's not going in the favor of these people that were doing all of this nonsense behind the scenes to block you from moving forward. I'm telling you, all these people from behind the scenes doing stuff to, move, to block you from moving forward. I didn't even realize this was on the bottom. These people are done. Justice is here. Mayat is in the building. She's here to collect and to dish out. It's a pop 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 pow. This is yours. Pop 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 pow. This is yours. Pop 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 That's yours. Mayat is in the building. These people never thought they were going to get cut. They trapped themselves in a court case they cannot get out of. People have explanations to give, but they don't know what to say. The courts may be asking questions, but people don't know. They don't have answers. Is that why did you force this person's name on a signature? Why did you force this person's signature again? Why did you file a false police report again? And who is this doctor? Why is he writing this? Why is he giving permission for this to be done? Why is this doctor saying that this person has mental illness when they don't? Mm? We need insides. Insides. Okay? These people have been up to nothing good. Working hard day and night. 9 to 5, 24 7, taking turns around the clock. They have been busy. And they expected to defeat you, but here you are, standing your ground. Being bold with it, and it's pissing them off every time you are bold with it. They don't like it. They want you to go away. It's that we know this belongs to you. We know you two belong together, but go away. Can we pay you to go away? No? Okay. What do we do? How much are you talking? How much do you want us to give you? You want a million dollars? You want $2 million? Uh, sources that no, we want what belongs to our child. And that's what they're going to get. Okay, and now you all go away. <laughs> go away. Go serve your karma over there. Go sit down in that corner. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Fulfillment. Some of you are going from here to here. Okay? And your enemies are going through a tower. It's that, oh, 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 you mean we're not winning? But it's so many of us and just one of him and one of her. No, honey, it's a million of you to one star C. You need a million of you to one of this. I'm telling you, moving forward. These are powerful people. These are powerful beings. When you see them, they look meek. I'm telling you, powerful beings. When you see them, they look meek, feeble, easy to push over. And then you go and F around and you realize that there's a whole force that moves with this person. Like the universe is moving with them. Their ancestors are ready to just play that Russian roulette. Waiting for someone to bust a move. You bust a move and you F around and find out, oh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I am so sorry, sir. Please excuse me. I don't know what the heck I was thinking coming for you. You didn't even do nothing to me. I actually think you're a nice person. I really do. 
I don't know what's wrong with me. Sometimes I wake up and my brain just does not do the right thing. It tells me to do something that I know I shouldn't do. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here. Here's my check. Here's This is what I worked for. You can have it. Mm-hmm. So let them underestimate you. Listen, did you see how that car just like jumped out? It's like, I'm here. I have... I Walking away. They are having a walk away. Walk away. These people need healing. Star seeds, you are about to be traveling. Some of you will be traveling. Okay, around the world, making differences in people's lives. Okay? Someone has been guided to move on and heal. They need healing. I told you the world on the world stage. You're about to be influential, some of you. So stick to your path, no matter how hard it may seem. You will absolutely be successful. No one is going to steal anything from you. What you worked for is yours. Your future, your destiny is yours. Okay? So don't let anyone think that you are on the wrong path. You're not doing something right. I'm telling you, it is yours. No one's going to take anything from you. They're living in sorrows, 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 because they can't take from you. They cannot block your forward movement. Someone is upset that you are still receiving an offer. I don't know why they are upset. I don't know why they are upset. You didn't do anything to anyone. You didn't steal from anyone. So why are they upset? Destiny. They can't steal my destiny. Honey, they cannot steal your destiny. Okay? They cannot steal your destiny. No matter how hard they plan, no matter how hard they try, your destiny is your destiny. So, destiny. They can't steal my destiny. Thank you, honey. Whatever plans these people have for you, there is divine intervention. There is a soul contract here that has been void. You are being partnered up with a higher level soulmate. Your soul twin absolutely was out of pocket. This person was out of pocket. They betrayed you. And you two were probably never together. For some of you, you were with this person. And they betray you in the worst way possible. So they can definitely not come back to you or come to you. You have a higher level soulmate. Whatever plan these people are coming up with, there's already divine intervention. So they won't even have the chance to bust a move. Because your ancestors have already bust a move before them. That's how blessed and favored you all are. Okay? They thought, I'm telling you, blessed in favor. Blessed in favor. Blessings after blessings after blessings after blessings. May you forever be blessed. Hey, I love this for you all. These people have been planning, plotting. We're going to take this earth angel down. We're going to succeed. It's one of her 5,000 of us. We have we have good connections all over the state, all over the city. We're going to have our people go live around them, drive past their homes, try to break in their, to their homes, break into their phones and computers and, you know, their social media accounts. We're going to show up at their jobs. And you're like... You can do whatever you want. I don't care. I already know what's coming for you. You don't know what's coming for you, but I know that's the difference between you and I. I know what's coming for each and every one of you, right, Collective? We know. We be known, but we just be sitting back watching them like, oh, look at this idiot. They're really choosing to entertain me today. You know what? It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell them they lied about me. I'll act like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, log into my bank account. I don't pretend to have more than I do anyways. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Keep entertaining me. 
we'll see how this turns out. And some of you even told these people what was going to happen. They didn't listen. You predicted how this was going to go out. How everything was going to happen. And they didn't listen. Some of them, when it started happening, they were in denial. Excuse me, let me turn my light on. Yeah, some of them were in denial. Hold on, I'm having uh, uh, technical difficulties right now. Okay, that should be it, okay. Some of them were in denial when you told them, hey, the truth is gonna come out and you all are going to experience endings. You are gonna lose your jobs. Some of you are going to jails. You're, you, you're going to be losing your cars, your relationships, your luxuries, and all of that. They didn't listen. They were laughing. I was like, look at this idiot. She thinks she's powerful. She thinks she has gifts. He thinks he's powerful. He thinks he has gifts. And then, <laughs> these, these mysterious things started happening. And they tried to play it up. They said, oh, it's just a coincidence. It ain't nothing. And then something else happened. Uh, yeah, that stuff happened every day. People, cars, you know, the tires get busted and stuff like that. It runs out of air. People catch flat tires all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People get fired from their job. Oh, oh, oh. And now someone is asking, do you think we're going through all of this because of what we did to that star C? Oh, and then now... They are all coming into realization. We effed up. We should have stopped. That's part of why we have karma out here. That's why. They're learning a hard lesson. Absolutely. This car, I knew was going to come out. Honey, I'm going to leave this one right here. And we're going to do our little recap. Our little details of the story. Because we want the juiciness and stuff. We want all of the information, fantabulousness. Chai. Anyways, honey, these people thought it was a game in the beginning. They were planning to trap you, things of that nature. They thought you were mentally ill. People thought you were retarded. These people had a picture of you painted that just did not fit. And you knew it. The Most High knew it, but the Most High was giving these people time, this person time, to get their act together. But they refused to. This is your ex for some of you that keeps coming up in my head. These people had a plan to trap you on a life, some of you, bring you endings, keep you in some type of mentally unhealthy state. People wanted you living in a deplorable state where you were unhealthy, a figment of an imagination of who you really are physically, emotionally, mentally, and psychologically, and spiritually. They wanted to break you down in every way possible and prevent you from having any type of hope of moving forward. These people were absolutely committed. They saw this and they said, oh, that's easy. That's easy peasy. We can take that down. Okay. This is going to be nothing. And then they did the first thing. And, you know, it's okay. We didn't, it, we didn't do anything big. And then they did the second thing. Nothing happened. And it's okay. Third thing. Hold on. This is the third time we're doing this and nothing's going on. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight. They are at like a thousand now. And you're still walking about, my darlings, with your head held high. Your life may be in chaos, but these people don't understand how you're staying peaceful. How are you still graceful? We've ruined you. You haven't ruined a thing. You all, your validation lies within your bank account and who you are associated with. We don't care. You see here, we are by ourselves. This woman is by herself. And even though she's by herself, do you see how flourishing her surrounding is? There are stars in the sky. There are roses, flowers. The, the view is green. The water is a beautiful shade of blue. It matches the sky. This is someone nurturing, abundant, healed. This is someone that heals. Okay? And then you have the rest of you, honey. We're not even going to get into you all. 
for the energy alone from you all. We just know you all don't pass the vibe check. Okay? You're, whoever this is, this masculine, trapped himself in something. And he's not doing good. He may be trying to get in contact with you, trying to come towards you, but he's trapped. He's not doing well. Someone may be going back to Jesus. Because these are Christians. A lot of them. They may be going back to Jesus. They're, they're Christians publicly, but behind those, behind the closed doors, they serve another master. Okay? Someone may not be recovering. Someone may recover. We don't wish ill on anyone. Okay? Someone is not showing their face anymore. They are going through some type of depression. Someone does not want to be seen. They do not want to be seen. They're hiding from people. People are asking questions. Hey, excuse me. You told us this person was like this. She did this. He did this. They did this. They did that. It's not true. Why did you say that? No answers. Your brother, your sister, no, they have answers. They don't have any answers. Okay? As you can see, things are moving in your favor. The wheel of fortune is out here. Divine interference, divine guidance, divine timing, whatever we want to call it. It is absolutely in your favor. Life is balancing itself out for you and these people. Life is balancing itself out, if you know what I mean, for them as well. Everybody has to accept their karma, good or bad. This is how we learn. We ascend, especially us star seeds. This is how we learn. We learn through uh, experience. All of the hard experiences these earthlings do to us, put us through, it is for our ascensions. And God forbid they become aware of who we are. They take a personal. How dare you be a star sea? Who made you a star sea? Why did you come here? Especially if they are connected to this character and they know who you are. They are offended. They think you're here to tip over their planets, over here to subdue them, or, you know, they find out that you operate from your heart. So they start doing things to mess with your heart space, throwing all types of voodoo to you, things of that nature. Oh, they reside in the law of energy. Okay, I'll show you. I'm sick of you and your love. So they start coming after you. They make it personal. You stand for the truth. You are the truth. You're grabbing life by the horn. They're bold by the horn to move on, living your truth. You're authentic, a bit on the eccentric side. You are intuitive, spiritually gifted, very much in alignment with spirit. And they love you. You are protected in a way people do not understand. You are under 24-7 surveillance. You're one of your soul... One of your uh, soul, uh, uh, soul guide may manifest into a person to protect you because of how much people are determined to destroy you. So absolutely, your ancestors want to make sure that the path that you are about to walk will not be walked alone. You will have someone there with you. Okay? This, whoever this is, this Wahala love offer they want to give you is not for you. It's not meant for you. You are going to have a genuine connection where you will have that beautiful family dynamic and abundance empire that you want. You are not confused. You have a new beginning coming in, Empress. You are not blind. This is what people wanted to do. Have you thinking that you were blind? Okay? You were not lucky. You didn't have the grace of God on you. You didn't have the touch of the grace of the Almighty on you. But you do. You're abundant. You're showing up here as abundant. And people know that. Someone is living in regret because they betrayed you for money. For greed. For greed. And after they were done betraying you, they saw the truth and they are living in regret. You got away from this person just in the nick of time. Like, honey... It was barely, barely, you barely got away from this person. And this person has done this before. These people have done this before, but they will not be able to destroy you. You overcame 
You overcame your enemies. You defeated them. You. You didn't do it alone. The Most High is backing you up. The universe, your ancestors, you have an entire lineage backing you up. Someone picked a fight with a star seed, not knowing that they were picking a fight with the universe and an entire lineage. Okay? And here you are with a new path ahead of you. You are ready to embark on your journey. You don't have time for nonsense. You are standing your ground. You are graceful, courageous. You don't have time for lies. Someone was trying to paint you out to be something that you were not, but absolutely not. All of their lies are being exposed. And your abundance is secure. All of these people's actions are exposed. People know what they've been doing. Someone wanted to say that you give them permission to act on your behalf so that they could get a, a hand or a hold of something that belongs to you. You absolutely did not. Someone thought they were going to steal from you. They were stopped. Absolutely cannot. Will not. Someone may have stolen from some of you before and they got greedy and they thought they were going to do it again and the court said uh-uh by this time we know a little bit too much it's not going down you are not going to be setting this person up to end them they haven't done nothing to you you haven't been able to provide any evidence that's legit everything you've provided is fraudulent okay so now you all may have to go to court, star seeds. At some point, some of you will have to go to court to defend yourself. Everything they were doing is exposed. They've trapped themselves in something they cannot get out of. The justice system is involved. They have trapped themselves. Trapped themselves. And they wanted to trap you, but you stood your ground. They were trying to hide you, get you to join their darkness, but you will not. That is not your calling. Karma is in your favor. You have good karma coming your way. People are being sat down, absolutely being sat down, and they're not happy about this. But you are on your way to abundance, okay? Let's do our angel numbers. I'm trying my best to remember to do these. Trying to remember not to forget to do these at the end of the reads. Maybe I'll start doing them at the beginning of the read. I don't know. We will see. Maybe I can do one at the beginning and then one at the end for opening and closing. Okay, we have 25. And we know it sums down to 7. 7 is a lucky number. Thank you, universe, for that message. Okay. What does it say? It says you have a... Great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Laurel curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. We are absolutely claiming that. Thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.